Good morning to worship at Calvary Chapel Mission Viejo. My name is Jordan Durkin, and I have the privilege to share with you the announcements, introduce you to this week's missionary, and to read you the scripture for today's service. Please join me in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you that we are, once again, able to come together and worship you. We are truly grateful for this. Thank you that we are able to serve you with what little we have, and that with your word and the wisdom that flows from it, you are able to help us and guide us through COVID and other challenges that we may be facing today. Thank you that we are able to be called your blessed sons and daughters, and that you love each and every one of us deeply. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. This week, we have only one announcement. CCMB will have worship night tonight from 6 to 7 p.m. We would love for you to join us. Please come together as we worship the Lord. Be sure to bring an outdoor chair and a mask since we will be gathering at the parking lot. Hi, Calvary Chapel Church family. Pastor Rob here. Hey, Jordan, great job in announcing that tonight we have our worship service. I hope all of you can join us tonight at 6 p.m. Ladies, have three announcements for you, and I also have a, a church-wide announcement as well. Well, first, ladies, don't forget to sign up for the Fall Bible Studies in First and Second Thessalonians beginning Thursday, September 9th. It's at 9 a.m. here at the church, and you can sign up on the, on the website or the church app. Second, you know, sign-ups for the Crowns Ministry. You can sign up on the website right now. This is a once-a-month study in the Book of John. They're going to meet every second Wednesday of the month from 10 to 12 noon here at the church. And the study kicks off on Wednesday, September 9th. Third, the Overcomes Women's Conference is coming, ladies, on October 10th. It's entitled Thirsty Women, Messy Life, but it's almost sold out. So if you want to attend that conference, you need to sign up on the website. Now for a church-wide announcement. Mark your calendars, everybody, because starting September 6th on a Sunday, we'll be meeting again corporately as a church body on Sunday mornings here at the church in front of the church outside at 10 a.m. For the month of September, we'll be meeting outdoors in front of the church. Shade will be provided, and we'll continue to practice social distancing, and all you need to bring is your Bible and a beach chair to sit in, and you can join us as we gather together again as a church body. Now, why are we meeting outside first? Well, the first reason we're meeting outside in September is it's important for all of us to come together as one whole body. Less people are willing to meet indoors right now. More are open to meeting outside. So we wanted to start there in the month of December. The second reason is there was a bump in cases of COVID-19 that started in July. And although that rate is declining, praise God, it's still somewhat high. So we wanted to, to give the month of September a little more time for those cases to decrease. And, and third, we need people to serve during the starting in, in October indoors and so we wanted to, to get a crew together to do that. So in October, though, we're going to open the church building for indoor services. And so in October, we're going to start providing indoor, or if you prefer, an outdoor service. We'll provide a shaded area with a large screen TV if you prefer to be outside. Or you can come and join us inside in the air-conditioned building. So however you feel you want to do it. September, outside, October, inside and outside. So I'm looking forward to what God is doing in our church. I'm grateful for all of you. And I'm looking forward to what the Lord will do as he brings us back together as a whole body and we worship together corporately. So now I hope you enjoy the service this morning. May the Lord bless you as you continue to follow with us and, and be in the word and dig into the word this morning. God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye. Our missionary of the week is Jeff and Roxanne Johnson. Jeff and Roxanne serve with Frontiers, a ministry that reaches out to Muslims with the gospel that oversees sending bases located around the world. They prepared a video update, and we're going to watch that now. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brothers and sisters? It's a joy to be with you again today. 
We uh, are Jeff and Roxanne Johnson, as hopefully you'll remember, and we've had the privilege of living and working in some very strange places of the world, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Uzbekistan, now into our 34th year with Frontiers. Yeah, and thank you. Thank you for your continued support yes, and, and prayers. And so just a, um, a, brief, a brief update, we do want to show you a very precious uh, picture here for the most precious of all second here here we go okay we are grandparents <laughs> and it is a tremendous gift to be a grand grandparents to these three incredible children they're intelligent and beautiful all mm -hmm. in one our uh, oldest son has the uh, daniel is married to a wonderful uh, godly woman and they have uh the little girl with the red and white dress and the golden locks That's mabel sue mabel sue and they have one on the way do any day now we're excited to welcome in finley to our our house she'll be a little girl and then uh our daughter hillary is married to a wonderful man of god who's a, a financial um uh, guru <laughs> and they hope to be going overseas with frontiers in the near future and they have two the two that are beside them there um elijah and eden and uh and then our youngest kyle is in washington dc he had got his master's and he's working in the financial uh sorry in in the political arena right now hoping to see where that will take him so the whole situation with um the coronavirus has changed things a little bit for us. I think quite a bit. Many of you know that we split our time between Arizona and um, the UK. And when we're at the uh, UK, we live in um, a place called High Wycombe, and which is where our international office is, Frontiers' is international office. And again, just as a reminder, our currently our current roles are overseeing all of Frontiers' sending bases. So we have 32 sending entities around the world, and we currently oversee a portion of those sending bases. We're part of a team that oversees these Jeff sending bases. Jeff is the director of sending, and uh, he and underneath him is this team, which we are also a part of. And so we oversee um, the Swiss sending base, German, our German sending base, Dutch. our Dutch sending base. Mexico sending base, our Nordic sending base, mm -hmm. which includes Sweden and Norway and Finland and Iceland. And um, so one of our prayer requests is that you pray for us as we learn now our fourth language. We're trying to learn Spanish so that we can help really develop our Latin American sending bases uh, to the level of our European ones uh, and our USSB, our United States one, which are all functioning on a much uh, greater capacity, higher level structure, and so on. Yeah, I think that's a real passion for ours now. In um, so, I think pray, pray. We'd appreciate pray. prayers as we oversee our sending bases, which remember uh, recruit, train, and send people, the next people. generation of workers to the Muslim world. But a particular passion for us, and that's again why we're learning Spanish or attempting to learn Spanish, is we want to develop the capacity of our Central American sending bases, which Mexico is a key part of that, but then developing our sending bases in Costa Rica, Honduras, and El Salvador, and then across uh, Latin America, Colombia and Argentina, um, and Bolivia, and Panama, and, uh, and Brazil. And so um, we can report, it's amazing, God is really doing a work in Brazil. And in fact, there are so many Brazilians now that are interested in going to the Muslim world that the pipeline, the training and the recruiting and all the structures that the Brazilian sending base has developed have basically been broken because there's over 400 people that have oh, recently to wanted to go. And so we're restructuring the sending base. But join us in, in thanking the Lord for all that is happening as the Lord continues to raise up uh, Latinos to go to the Muslim world. And so, again, there are many places in the Muslim world that are uh, difficult for Americans to get into. We have certain political baggage mm -hmm. and other things, as you can imagine and know. But um, sometimes Latinos can get into areas that we can't. It's and, going and to take Asians. Yeah, Asians and Asians as well. Too. So we're our, our Asian sending bases as well. <laughs> and we'd ask you at this particular time to also pray for our Hong Kong sending base. It's going through a lot of yeah. uh, difficulties with the protests and everything. And then, of course, Transition. with China coming in. And, mm -hmm. and so there's lots of um, challenges there as well. So mm -hmm. pra praise God with us for our Brazilian sending bases. Pray for our uh, sending base in Hong Kong. And then if you would join us in prayer 
for our other sending bases in Latin America. And it's been particularly difficult for them in the coronavirus. Churches cannot um, yeah. open. Okay. And because churches are not open for people to attend, uh, people don't give because many of these churches in Latin America are not set up for online giving. And so there are some financial hardships and challenges um, throughout. Them, yeah. yeah, but we also do see Muslims in, in Latin America. Mo mosques are being built in Honduras right. and El Salvador. Right. And so now is the time to raise up the church mm -hmm. in Latin America to engage with the um, with Muslim Muslims. world. Yeah, we would also uh, just ask you to continue to pray for our teams on the field. You know, when God, uh, when things like this happen, God opens another door, doesn't he? And the uh, amount of Zoom uh, meetings that people are, discipleship meetings that are taking place around the world right now is, uh, is unbelievable. It's such an exciting dis time to see that Muslims, when their clan, you know, cut, closed up in their homes, are reaching out via the internet to our teams to study the Word of God. And uh, people are coming to Christ because of this very situation. People who normally wouldn't have met with somebody out in the street or in a home because it would have been too threatening are willing to do it over the internet right now. So our teams on the field are seeing an explosion of that. And I think obviously continue to pray for Lebanon and in particular mm -hmm. Beirut as they go through a very difficult time now as well. Again, all of these things and these rumblings and these turmoils and challenges within the Muslim world God uses them, and um, we've often said what Satan means for death and destruction, God can turn into something very Good. beautiful. Yeah. So thank you again for just the years of support and, and love, encouragement and that you've given us. May we offer back to you just a prayer, and it comes from uh, the words of Paul in Ephesians, and we pray this uh, for you from beginning in verse 17. We keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, so that you may know him better. We pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people, and his incomparably great power for those of us who believe. Cool. We love you guys. Thank you so much. And we hope to see you soon. Yeah. Um, but uh, thank you again. God Blessings. You Take care. Thank you, Jeff and Roxanne. Would you please join me in prayer for them? Dear Lord, thank you for your grace and mercy. We pray for you to be equipped, Jeff and Roxanne, with your strength and encouragement as they serve boldly for your kingdom. We pray that you will protect them as they serve for your kingdom and that you will grant them wisdom as they continue to reach out to Muslims and share with them the wonderful news of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you that your love reaches all. In Jesus' name, amen. Our scripture reading for today comes from Mark chapter 10, verse 13 to 16. Mark writes, And they were bringing children to him so that he might touch them. But the dis disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Permit the children to come to me. Do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it at all. And he took them in his arms and began blessing them, laying his hands on them. May the Lord bless the reading and preaching of his word.